Hello, I'm Boris, and I haven't been doing so great, because I've been getting a lot of hate. A lot of people hate me for quote unquote abusing Caillou, even if I may have though, I have not done it in forever, so that's got to count right? You guys having fun? All aboard! The anti-Boris train Chugging down the tracks of vilification The anti-Boris train You got a one-way ticket to manipulation station The anti-Boris train Time into the tracks and harassment for my past I'm trying to be a dad, but you paint me like I'm bad. I won't survive the crash, but hey, at least you're having fun. Hi, I'm your favorite Caillou, and we've been wanting to come online and talk to you about a few things. One of them is me quote unquote making fun of bald Caillou for having no hair. I'm only joking around, bald Caillou is being too sensitive and shouldn't care, so. And we only want to talk about the facts, so, we hope that you'll be willing to listen. Here we go. Many years ago, I used to punish bald Caillou. But not in a brutal way like you are trying to suggest, it was more of a tough love kind of way, where I was just trying to encourage bald Caillou to behave better. It's kinda like, uh, you know bald Caillou would misbehave and I was like, oh uh, oh 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 Caillou how dare you throw a tantrum or how dare you sneak to Chuck E. Cheese. That's it. You are grounded grounded grounded. Grounded. For a number of years. I sent him to his room, yet that didn't work. I got creative, and did some punishment day with the use of gear. I didn't really understand that maybe there should be some boundaries there. So I got him a clone in which he has hair. He threatened my life, which made me very happy. And I haven't abused bald Caillou in years, you see. Because I changed my behavior and I took accountability. The hate air Caillou train. The locomotive's filled with hateful jealousy. The hate air Caillou train. Steam over on my reputation. The hate air Caillou train. Hop on board, but close your eyes, otherwise you'll realize the train is made of lies, and I am perfectly nice. Therefore, I didn't deserve to die. But hey, at least you're having fun. In all seriousness, I do think it's really important to hold people accountable for their mistakes. Um, you know, we should hope that everyone can learn from their mistakes and grow and change their behavior, and be a better person. This is something that I've always tried to do when I make mistakes, and is something that I will continue to try to what? Oh, you don't care? Oh, okay. I thought you wanted us to take accountability. But that's not the point of your mob mentality, is it no? You just like to make grounded videos out of a dad you despise. While traumatizing your lies and monetizing my demise. Yeah, um, I feel like I can already hear the comments on this video. Boris and Hair Kai, you are so mean to bald Kai, you. I hope those two get grounded and arrested. I'm a victim as a man harassed All just for making a joke and having a laugh Yet bald Caillou's getting ready to attack But not based on facts Cause Lunar with the weapon is hurting my feelings But he doesn't make any armor When his temper makes me weak And he even gave me a panic attack Cause he's jealous of me That I am smart a good student, and I'm a reliable guy, with great hair. It is stupid that I get grounded on this channel because I don't deserve to be grounded. I should be ungrounded. I also want to take a minute to talk about how I'm great. Yet for some reason, I get treated with hate. It was never supposed to be that way. Anyway, um, like... 
did not realize it was my responsibility to fault Caillou's ointments. This fragility. He needs to learn to grow up and learn to be a man. It's not my fault he doesn't do well in school. As cancer lost all his hair. Now have I made some jokes and poor taste? Yes. Have I made lots of dumb mistakes? Yes. Am I sad that Bald Caillou is depressed? Yes. But was it my intention to make him feel bad? No. It doesn't really matter what my intention was, cause I would get grounded because Bald Caillou would snitch on me. And let me tell you, it is not fun. I feel like he is trying to make my life miserable. It is hard being me, because everyone just believes that you are the type of person who manipulates and abuses children. So, I just wanted to say that, um, the only thing I ever assaulted is my rifle. I'm not a child abuser, just a bit rough around the edges. I didn't understand I shouldn't tell any jokes. And I'm not a bully even though a lot of you think so. All because... A while ago I made a few bold jokes So Even though I know this video won't change anyone's mind about me I still felt it was important to come on here and defend myself a little and take accountability and we also wanted to say that to anyone out there who has supported us in any capacity we really really appreciate you thank you for what it's worth we never had any bad intentions but we do feel like Eight horses in your Caillou train Chugging down the tracks of misinformation Eight horses in your Caillou train You've got to take it to the dimension station Eight horses in your Caillou train Ties to the tracks and jokes for jokes for jokes I'm trying to be a dad, but you paint me like a bad. We won't survive the crash, but hey, at least you're having fun. Actually, you know dad, I feel like maybe we should let them know something. You're right, seems like. Maybe they are confused about something, I don't know. Let's try to help them. Sometimes parents hurt their kids, but it doesn't make them bad parents. Whoa. Sometimes parents hurt their kids, but they are still the parents. Crazy, I know. Sometimes people tell a few jokes and you don't have to take those jokes. Oh no. You twist them up and grind them and add some lies to it and pulverize it and stab it with knives and ruin a life. And oh no. Not everyone likes the same jokes and it doesn't mean you gotta be so provoked oh no sometimes people tell offensive jokes and you can kindly let them know and help them grow sometimes people tell bad jokes simply because they told a joke and the joke doesn't make them a terrible human, it just makes them a human.
But what do we know? Us, right?